safe to say it's been a long time since I filmed a YouTube video. But there's a very, very big reason for it. Some of you guys know if you follow me on Instagram. Me and Ryan are having a baby. Um, I'm pregnant. I'm like 20, yeah, I'm 24 weeks pregnant, well into the second trimester. Um, I've only got like 15 weeks approximately to go. Um, and I have found pregnancy hard, so hard. Um, yeah, that's, that's the main reason why I haven't filmed a YouTube video. My energy has been non-existent. Um, I felt pretty horrendous. Haven't actually been physically sick many times at all, but I've basically had every other symptom under the sun that they list down um, under the pregnancy symptoms on the NHS website. Um, and I've been dying to film a YouTube video. Um, I'm aware that lots of you follow me on Instagram anyway, so you probably would already know, but I've been dying to say it like in video format for so long. And I've tried to pick up the camera so many times. I've actually sat in front of the camera and then I felt really awful and I've had to go back to bed. I have tried, I've really tried. I literally do not know what I would have done if I had to go into the office um, every day. I mean, I actually think I would have fainted on the train multiple times. <laughs> I just don't know how people do it. So I'm aware that I'm very, very, very lucky that I've managed, I, I've been able to not upload YouTube videos or not do my standard day-to-day -day job. I'm, I'm very aware. So I've had loads of people uh, ask me questions in my Instagram DMs and I thought I would answer them here. Um, so let's go. Did I plan to have a baby? So Ryan and I about Oh, a week before um, I guess I got officially pregnant, like we've worked out the dates and stuff, um, about a week before then we had discussed when we would like to potentially try and have a baby. It was always in the back of my mind that I was always a bit worried that if we waited too long then, I don't know, I might not be able to be able to have a baby. I was just very aware of that. And so I said to Ryan like, you know, when, when, when should we start trying and things? and. He said, why don't we like tr start to try, but not put too much pressure on ourselves at the end of maybe like 2022, 2023 at the beginning or something like that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that works. We have Amelia's wedding. Um, we had a few more things happening. We've just bought this beautiful house, loads of projects to do. That kind of makes sense. Um, well, <laughs> surprise, the baby came a bit earlier. So um, yeah, it was, it was a surprise, but also like, it wasn't an unwelcomed surprise, obviously. It's a very exciting surprise. Um, it's just funny how things happen, isn't it? So yeah, it was a little bit of a surprise, but but also timing wise, like it was great. Um, and also I'm gonna have a little baby to bring to Amelia and Pete's wedding, which is so cute. And they're gonna have a little nephew there. But it also does mean that we've like lost someone to help like prepare for Amelia's wedding and things. Like I can't do heavy lifting anymore and stuff like that. Um, and I'm a lot slower and a lot weaker and feel really rough. So probably planning wise, yeah, it would have been better to happen at the end of the year, but oh well, <laughs> it came sooner. It was, a, it was a nice surprise. When did I tell my family? So we had to tell my parents quite early on because I live with them. It was kind of impossible to keep it a secret from my mum. I don't think my dad would have noticed for quite a long time, but my mum already had an inkling when she saw that we had signed up to the doctors here because I don't really go to the doctors very often. Um, and she was like, oh, you signed up to the doctors. And I was like, yeah, we just thought we'd be, we'd be good, you know? And she, in, instantly she just was like, hmm, something's going on here. So yeah, that was kind of a big giveaway. <laughs> and then uh, like three days later, I said to Ryan, I'm gonna have to tell her. And he was, he was the one that said that we should tell them anyway, because it would just be easier. Um, and in case like you need to go to work or something, like my parents then knew the position I was in and I'm pregnant. So we told them a few days later, purely to be honest, because I felt quite rough and my mum was like encouraging me to do all this stuff in the garden, which I really could not, um, could not handle doing. And secondly, because we were meant to be going out for my brother's 21st birthday meal and they did this this restaurant called the Epicurean, just the most amazing cocktails. I mean, I, I raved about them last time I came back from there because I've been there before. I raved about them to my parents and my brother and we were going and I was like, they're just gonna know if I'm not drinking. I don't drive, so if I'm not having a drink, something's weird, something's not up. 
um, and they would have 100% guessed. So I just told them beforehand, we just sat down and I just kind of said, you know, we're having a baby. Um, and it was super early on. I mean, I knew really early on, like three weeks or something, um, because my period is usually like dead on time. <laughs> and as soon as it was late by like two weeks, I was like, hmm, uh oh. <laughs> So yeah, so I knew really early on after I did the tests and things, I did like the expensive test that tells you how many weeks approximately, um, and told them, and then told Amelia, obviously, Amelia wasn't there, so I told my brother, my mum and dad, told Amelia because I felt like, you know, that was unfair if I didn't tell her, her and I told my brother, um, but then we waited to tell everybody else until, until 12 weeks, until after our 12 week scan on the day. And the reasoning for that was, I know lots of people were like, well, to be honest, I really struggled with not telling people. It felt like a really lonely time and I kind of wanted to tell my friends the reason why I was cancelling on things and um, and the reason why I couldn't make certain things. But also I was just like, if anything did happen, I, would, I wouldn't want to feel stressed that I had to tell people straight away. Um, but thinking back on it, I think I, would, I could have just told everyone a bit earlier. Um, I don't know. It's a really, really hard one, isn't it? It's a really hard one because you're told not to tell anyone until you've had your 12 week scan, just in case. But you would end up telling people there was a problem anyway. And I just found, yeah, I just found it very, very lonely. Only knowing myself and like only a few people knowing. I really wanted like everyone to know why I felt so crap. <laughs> Do you have any names? No, we don't have any names. I'm really, 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 really struggling. Um, we had a name if it was for a girl, um, but it's not. And I, yeah, I, I know. I'm really bad with names. I really, really struggle because I feel like there's a lot of pressure to get the name right. I wanted to like a bit different, but then I also like classic English names and I can't decide on which one I like more, like which style. Um, Ryan's really good. Like he has loads, <laughs> loads of names. Um, but also, some of the names are a little bit, like, interesting. Uh, we've had Albus after Dumbledore. Um, who else? We've had every uh, Hobbit in the Lord of the Rings be written down on Ryan's list. Uh, Baggins, now that's an ongoing joke with my side of the family. Um, then yes, so no. <laughs> uh, I'm really struggling with names, yeah. And we haven't got that long to go, and I'm suddenly a little bit worried. But, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Have I got a birth plan yet? Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm doing like a hypnobirthing course and um, we're planning to go to the hospital, but to like the midwife unit. I'd quite like a water birth, um, but I'm not having a home birth. We, we live quite far away from the hospital that we're going to. Um, and I just think that would stress me out too much. The, the thought that if I needed to go to the hospital, it'd be quite a long journey. Um, and also like I live with my parents, <laughs> I don't know. My mum used to stress me out when I used to go for auditions, let alone if I was like giving birth. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how helpful my parents would be in that situation. No offence, parents. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know. I just think, yeah, hospital uh, is the first time baby, isn't it? It's my first birth. But also I would like it to be like in the mid 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 midwife led like part of the hospital. It's like separate parts, I think. Um, so yeah, so we've discussed it, but like not massively. Yeah. When am I due? The baby is due mid-June around. Obviously I won't give the exact date, but it's not exact anyway, is it? So yeah, so we've got quite a lot of time, but also it feels like we haven't got that much time at all. It's gone suddenly from, no, let's not buy stuff yet. Let's not buy baby stuff yet, just in case, to suddenly like, oh, we haven't got anything. <laughs> Um, we need to start prepping, I think, a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, so mid-June, which is amazing, because our baby's gonna have like a, like a summer birthday, and nobody, well, my brother, my sister, and me, we all have winter birthdays, and I've always said how nice it must be to have a summer birthday, so I'm quite excited about that. And I think it'll be a nice time to have a baby, like, in that, in June. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. How have I found pregnancy? Oh, so I've got insane acid reflux currently right now. It's very, very bad um, all the time. Keeps me up all, all night. Yeah, I'm not enjoying that. I've never had that before. And that is not nice, is it, at all? So that's not great. I also kind of have um, 
It's not low blood pressure because they've tested my blood pressure, but they said it's on the lower end, so it could occasionally dip. And I feel the dips uh, instantly. I feel very faint. I have to go to bed, but feel very lightheaded. Um, but there's not really much you can do about that, which that's fair enough. Like as long as I know that it's not harming the baby and everything's okay, then that's all right. I'm okay with that. Like I can feel rubbish as long as I know that it's fine and it's safe. Um, what else have I got wrong? <laughs> I all, I've obviously always had a bad back, so I kind of expected back pain and stuff, but I've got like really bad hips, um, which doesn't help you have to sleep on your side even when you're pregnant. So that's, that's not great. Uh, <laughs> I don't actually feel very sick anymore though, which I did in like the first trimester quite heavily. Felt sick all the time. Um, so I'm quite lucky in that way, but now I just have like the acid reflux, which is kind of like the after aftermaths of being sick anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Um, let's list some good things, shall we? I don't believe in the glowing stage of pregnancy. I have, I, I mean, there's a lot of makeup on my face right now. I'm not glowing. I do not feel like I'm glowing at all. I don't think that exists. We'll report back on that one. Um, I did say I was going to list good things, didn't I? Um, Pretty amazing feeling the baby kick and seeing the baby kick as well. And it's pretty cool when Ryan can see it and feel it. Uh, Ryan spoke to the belly the other day, or the baby, <laughs> but also my belly, and literally got kicked in the face. And that was pretty cool. So there are some pretty magical bits as well. <laughs> but yeah, pregnancy is, is tough. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm finding it very hard. Um, harder than I guess I thought I'd find it but it will be worth it and that's the main thing <laughs> and I think it's important to list the bad things because too many people say like oh you're glowing oh like I watched a movie last night and they were like are you pregnant because you're glowing and I was like what a load of rubbish too many too many things in the media mention stuff like that so I think it's important for other pregnant people to know like that they're not alone if they feel awful too so yeah, sorry for not glamorizing it, um, but that's it. But it will be worth it. It will be worth it. So yeah. So yes, we're having a baby. I'm very, very excited. Um, I hope you are too. Uh, sorry that it's taken me so long to film this YouTube video. I've just felt awful. Really, 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 really awful. So awful that I was like, will I ever upload a YouTube video again? But here we are very exciting Ryan's very excited my whole family are very excited on my side of the family it's the first grandchild so that's that's even wilder um yeah everyone's very excited I hope you guys are too and yeah speak soon bye bye